Hi, welcome to Realm of the Sacred Roots. I wanted to talk to you guys today mostly about a warning that I have for you. Um, these topics aren't easy to talk about and I'm going to make this really short video. These are things that I've been aware of for quite a long time, but because of the situation uh, where we're at, where we find ourselves today, I found it, one, not fair for me to prepare myself, those that I love, and not and have this platform and not share with you my thoughts, whether you think they're crazy or whether you think they make sense, I feel obligated to share the information with you, to share my thoughts with you. Um, it's important. And not only that, I felt like spirit wasn't going to let me rest until I shared my thoughts with you. Uh, quite a few videos back when COVID first came out, I did a video because I had an automatic, I did an automatic writing that basically said this plague, we can call it, but this um, virus was a distraction. And I didn't quite know what, uh, what that, what spirit was telling me, but I still put it out on the video so that you guys would be able to at least get the information and then do with it what you will. And I plan to do the same thing in this video. I believe COVID was almost the dress rehearsal. I believe for us staying home, planting our vegetables, uh, trying to stay clean and away from people. There are a lot of different thoughts out there and I'm not talking politics. Um, on here. I'm just talking about this virus in general. We all pretty much had to stay home initially. And so I felt like it was preparing us for something. I still feel like a lot of people are being distracted by what's going on. There are things coming probably, I say between now and the next few years, that I think we need to prepare for. Uh, 2020, I really am wishing would hurry up and be over. But at the same time, uh, what are we rushing into? What's coming in the next years ahead? And though astrology tells us some things and spirit tells us other things and we get these feelings and we just can sense it as sensitive people or spiritual people, we can sense what's happening and what's going on. We, we might not know exactly what's on the horizon. I'm going to throw some things out there for you. For some of you who are like minded like me, it won't be a big deal. And you'll just say, yeah, I already know I'm preparing. Got it. Others of you will probably turn the video off and say, she's lost it. She's crazy. And there's no way. But if you think back, how many of us really thought of a COVID and um, COVID-19 would hit us this way and the effects that it would have, we're we're going to the extremes that we're having to go to. Most of us couldn't honestly say we knew this was coming and or, and, or um, this is what we'd have to go, the, the lengths um, of protections we've had to go through in order just to go out and shop for groceries or to be in a room with someone else. So, Using that as an example, just one example of we sure as heck didn't expect that. Um, I want you guys to think of some other things. When I was meditating the other day, a lot of you know, um, you know, I speak with the dead and uh, it was a child that came up to me. Usually I deal a lot with children on the other side and she came up to me and she grabbed my hand and she walked me through a school, like a school uh, courtyard. And she was walking me through and I saw the building where the school was and I saw the children outside. And 
um, but overlaid like you know how a filter would or something would overlay on top of another picture on top of and I'm trying to explain how I saw this on top of the school it was like a graveyard it was like death and she was walking me through and I usually get walked through the great a graveyard actually with kids they'll, they'll hold my hand and walk me through to show me something that's what she was doing in this meditation um, was walking me through the schools so I don't know if it has to do with the decisions that might come up later this year for the schools and for children but I believe based on this med, um, vision in my meditation that we have a lot more death coming for us and I just want people to be prepared mentally prepared I, I want people to be prepared for the death even more death that's coming, even more death is coming. Um, if you haven't studied or looked up NWO, go ahead and do that as well. Uh, start to see the different pieces that are coming together. I was raised with a lot of this, so to me it's second nature, it's like breathing. But there's a lot of information on New World Order out there. Go ahead and do some searching and do some reading and pay attention to what they say it is pay attention to what's happening in the world and start putting the puzzle together for yourself um, I'm listing things that I believe will be coming up very soon and I want people to be prepared I can't say it enough I don't know how many believe in extraterrestrials um, pay attention Pay attention there's a lot coming up and remember what you see may not always be what it appears to be um, so there's just so much here I, I, I just can't unpack all of this in a video nor nor am, what I am I allowed to but <sighs> pay attention and um, and uh, my last bullet point would be um, a World War III. <laughs> People really will think I've lost my mind. Pay attention. Let's see what's going on. These are all assumptions. But the, the, this is a very critical time right now that we're in. With the elections coming up. I don't believe it's going to go smoothly as we may think. Um, so there's a lot of drama. There's a lot coming up. That's going to be a lot for us to handle at once because everything has been back to back to back. 2020 hasn't given us a break between the deaths in 2020 and the COVID and the politics and the everything that's been going on. But I wanted to drop these heavy words on you. I wanted to drop words on you like the schools and death. I wanted to drop words on you like NWO, ETs, WW3, right? I wanted to drop those on you because people are out there arguing about masks and whether we should wear one and whether we shouldn't. Um, people are, are arguing about, are you on the left or the right? Are you Democrat or Republican? People are arguing about white and black and 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 and, and race riots, the ridiculous things. When you compare them and hold them up to those other things that I just mentioned, having a new world order, looking at ETs and having a war, the next few years are going to be very interesting. Get your house in order. Stop following the sheep that are out there running around looking crazy, arguing about masks and what you should wear and shouldn't wear. And if someone's wearing it, they're this. And if they're not wearing it, they're that. To hell with the politics. If you want to wear one, wear one. If you don't, don't. You can only control yourself. You can't control what someone else does. Who cares if you're on the left or if you're on the right? I really don't care. I don't. I don't care what color you are. I don't. 
pay attention to what's coming for the next few years. Don't get caught in the arguments and the heat of the moment and the political um, discussions and religious discussions. To hell with all that. Look at what's coming and the big picture. You have to get your house in order. You have to mentally prepare for what we're about to see on this earth. You need to meditate. You need to tap in. And you need to get your spiritual house in order. I don't do videos like this. This is my first warning video. I, I don't do videos like this. But how unfair is it for me to get my house in order, for me to get my spiritual well-being in place, for me to mentally prepare to see things that are coming on this earth? And, 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 and you're home sitting back eating potato chips, watching a movie and, and don't give a flying fuck. Like you need to wake up. Stop arguing with the family member. Who gives a crap? We have to get out of the, the, the mundane, the minute arguing, the, 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 the things that, and pull yourself up out of that and pull yourself up into the sky and like look down and get the big picture and, and get rid of those distractions because we got some shit coming our way, folks. Whether it's five or 10 years, it doesn't matter. You have to prepare now. This is not something you can do at a last minute. You need to mentally be strong. Get your house in order. Get rid of excess stuff that you have. Get serious about this thing. But stop the arguing and the bickering, which spiritually only just keeps those lower lying entities around, which just continue to blind you. So stop with the arguing. Whoever this is for, I don't care if it's for one person. I stayed up way later than I normally do to make this video. I don't care if it's for one person. Get it in order. Get it in order, folks. I don't know what else to tell you. I was, uh, a spirit would not let me rest if I did not do this video. Pay attention to what's going on. There's some stuff coming. We got more death and we were going to have a hell of, a, an, of an election. It's going to be, this is going to be crazy. So buckle up and, um, and get your house in order, guys. I wish you all the best. I do wish you blessings. And um, I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.